ballers what's up matt fitch i haul junk thanks for checking out my video today guys i am leaving liberty hill texas right now so that's north of austin i am headed down to hayward texas so that's going to be south of austin actually south of bastrop texas so i got about an hour and 40 minute drive i was hired as a consultant to help one of our haulers and he has got um he has got a mobile home demo and disposal. So he is pretty new, but uh, he's spending a lot of money on advertising. So he's getting a ton of jobs and he needs help to make sure that he's not only doing them correctly, but he wants to make sure he makes the most amount of profit on his jobs. And uh, I've been working with him now for over a year and uh, you know, I help him out, make sure he does I haul his jobs correctly. but. I have also helped him start his own business. So he's advertising for himself. He's getting a ton of good jobs and he hired me as a consultant to help him get through this job. So I'm gonna go down there to Hayward, Texas. And uh, today I'm just going to take a look at everything. I am going to discuss strategy with him. And then we are going to get a game plan together for when the actual work's gonna be completed. So uh, it, it sounds like it's gonna start next week. So. If he wanted to do it this weekend, I uh, was willing to get there tomorrow, but I think uh, I think his schedule is pretty busy. So uh, we're gonna chat about the job today, and it looks like we'll set it up for sometime next week. So we're gonna head down the highway. We got a road trip ahead of us, y'all. Thanks for checking it out. Let's roll. All right, so I'm like two minutes from the job and uh, I saw this place on the side of the road and I, I wanted to stop at it. I guess it's an old, um, it's an old dance hall, but they, they take, you know, all this old crap and, and resell it. I mean, obviously if you, if you do junk removal, you know that we get paid to haul this stuff off, but man, this place is freaking awesome. Uh, I they, they sold me on a couple items. Let's go check out what I got. All right, here's what I scored. <laughs> Look at this. A cool old cigarette rack. And then look at this awesome antique heater. She was asking 150 for both of them. $75. All right, so apparently this place used to be called the Leaky Roof Dance Hall in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. This was a hoppin' boot scoot and boogie. So you, it was adults only. You'd go up to this little window here and buy your tickets. And then adults only, careful, they'd go up here to the Leaky Roof Dance Hall. Can you just imagine this, guys? get up here 
clearly they have been collecting for years, but just imagine what this place must have been like 80 years ago. The Leaky Roof Dance Hall, Hayward, Texas. If you know anything about hauling junk, you know you could open up a place just like this and they'll pay you to come pick up this crap. See these old columns? About 100 years old off a house just down the road. They're selling them for 100 bucks a piece. Ooh, couldn't imagine coming down these stairs after a night of drinking, Jesus. Guys, I think we're here. I see a mobile home with a dumpster. I think we might have found it. All right, so I'm sitting here on the side of the road, waiting for uh, waiting for this hauler to show up. He already paid me, so uh, I told him I've got an hour here, and uh, we've got about 10 minutes left. So if he shows up, then awesome. Uh, I've already taken a look a little bit. I'll, I'll get some video if he doesn't show up here in a little bit, but uh, man, this this structure looks pretty solid. Uh, what we might end up doing is seeing if a um, like a used mobile home guy wants to come and haul it off. Uh, if it's at all salvageable, and if we can get someone to maybe haul it off for a couple thousand dollars, He's doing the job for $10,000. He's paid me 1,200, so he's still got $8,800 on the job. If he has to pay someone $3,800 to haul it off, he's still got $5,000 profit, and it's gonna take zero of his time. He can go do another job. So, I'm gonna recommend that he tries to outsource this one. Obviously, if we gotta clean it up, we will. I've done a demo uh, on a mobile home before. It's actually like one of my first jobs, and uh, so we can do it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a little creative. We'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can get this one done quick style. All right, there's like four outbuildings, mostly metal. Those are all going. The guys are already here. They got a load of metal going out there today. There's another trailer that they're cleaning out. Aside from this one, fuck. <laughs> All right, there's fucking wasps. <laughs> Here's the burn pile. Anything that's wood, we're not gonna have to take off the property, so that's gonna save disposal costs. So we're gonna put a big burn pile here with all the wood. And then those back sheds are mostly metal. <laughs> this is the structure that needs to go. And it's a fucking piece of shit. So we're just gonna have to demo the whole thing. Take it right down to the metal frame. Probably cut that metal frame up. Ditch it on a metal guy. <laughs> I got 99 problems. All right, so these cars are going. And then today, the guys are emptying out this unit. That structure is gonna stay but they're gonna finish filling up this dumpster with what's inside there. The big job is gonna be demo and disposal on this. We're gonna start it Monday or Tuesday. Jesus Christ. This place has been condemned. I shouldn't even be doing this, but I kind of want to get a sense of what's inside. Jesus Christ. A fucking nightmare. Watch 
watch out for wasps, fuck. So many wasps. Alright, fuck. Alright, I'm gonna kick this thing open and see what happens. Dude, I don't want to fucking go in here. All right, yeah, nobody's fucking going in there. <laughs> so this is a complete teardown. The place was condemned. We're not fucking going in there. Look at that guy, he's like, dude. I'm ready to fuck you up. Jesus Christ. We have to come back with some bugs, right? I'll kill those guys. I'll get in here. Next time, holy shit, I almost fucking fell through. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare job. All right, headed back to Austin. Uh, option A for this job, no go. Uh, definitely not gonna tow that structure anywhere down the road. So it's gonna be a full demo and disposal. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start contacting metal guys. We're gonna try to get some metal guys down there. That way they can start peeling off that outside layer of aluminum on the trailer, get that part of it done. Uh, hopefully without any uh, out-of-pocket expense. There is also a lot of other metal that they're loading up now, maybe two or three total loads. So they're generating some additional revenue on the job there. Uh, so while the, he did charge the customer $10,000, he's probably got at least another $2,000 coming in from the metal. So that's why it's pretty, pretty important to separate your metal. And I always start with it. So, you know, that way you can kind of bring in a little more revenue. So they're doing, doing metal today and they are gutting out uh, several of the outbuildings. That way, all that's left in the outbuildings is metal and wood. The wood is going in a burn pile on site, so there's no time to, the, to take that to the dump, and there's no disposal cost there. So the, the deal is structured right. You know, if we, if we had to do this deal at, at, at a normal cost, it, it might be double, you know, $20,000, but it's only a $10,000 job and I'm gonna make sure that Jeremy gets paid so we're gonna to have to do all of these little things like salvaging metal and finding metal scrappers to help with some of the the demo to save on the expenses that way Jeremy can can still make some money so I am going today to contact the metal guys and I am also going to be arranging for a few dumpsters to be set on site. That way, when we get into it, we can knock this thing out within a day or two. So this week, there will be metal. And at that point, once we're done with that, then we can get all hands on deck with the dumpsters. And we're gonna have a couple trucks and a couple trailers out there. So each truck and trailer will run you know, three or four loads in a day. So the truck and trailers can, can run seven or eight loads in one day. And then while they're at the dump, we're gonna have the loader busting up the structure. And then as soon as the, the trucks and trailers get back from the dump, we fill them up, send them on their way. Continue with the demo on the structure. So we're gonna do that until it's down to just the metal frame. And then we're gonna get the metal guys back out there and they will cut up the, the frame on the structure and we'll get this place looking good. So uh, it is a big job, but I do think that he's still got enough uh, wiggle room with his margin even after paying me twelve hundred dollars he's going to make more than that on the metal and then the expenses are are probably going to be under five thousand so i'm hoping that we can make jeremy five thousand dollars profit on this job so i'll make uh, part two to the video as we get through the job and check back to see how we did guys thank you so much for checking the video out if you like the content please subscribe and if you hit the bell notifications you're going to be notified when i make new videos so you can watch them maybe you'll learn something 
maybe we can start working together. I don't know what city you're in, but I'm, I'm trying to expand iHaul everywhere. So if you're interested in starting up a junk removal business or you already got one going, give me a holler. I'd love to help you out. Thanks again, guys, for watching it. Good luck. Happy hauling.